job, though. She's That's the thing. Her job, and we're going to. No, she's not doing her job because if she was doing her job, because if she was doing her job, she would have uh, investigated. She would have investigated Shemaine Shorney's death. Okay, if the corn exactly, you're gonna kick us out so that you can fake your fucking files. We're not faking we anything. Oh please. In an hour, the corner would get here and we'd right? be able to suicide or accident. Rubber stamp it. We know how it works in British Columbia, Canada. See? This is real, people. How long? Do you want to be thorough? How long? Or do you want us to do a Mickey Mouse? No. You already did. It doesn't fucking You did it already with Shane Troy. Now. You did a Mickey Mouse job. You covered up murder. You are. You go? Coroner's office covered up murder. The police department covered up murder. Look up Shanae Chorney. I get you're upset. No, you don't get it. I do. That's patronizing bullshit. No, it's not. It's Call true. Constable it's Boo. It's true. Just Call like Constable how Boo. the nurses at the hospital fucking lied to our face. How the social workers lied to our face. How we were just lied to. Oh, yeah, once the coroner gets here, you're going to... Nope, get the no, fuck out. I said once the coroner was your done. Sister what I said. I'm because you're going to falsify the records like you're going to do no, with Shemaine. No, we're not. You did you it did with Shemaine. You did it last time. I wasn't and Shemaine wasn't even a drug addict. And gang. not only when that, but you guys you, illegally we harvested need your her organized organs. Gang. You illegally yeah. harvested her organs! Holy guys, like. Bullshit. Can you not record me, Mom? Julian see her. Oh, we're not gonna fucking do this. We're not gonna do that. They were doing the exact same fucking dumbass shit that they do to everyone because they expect everyone to recognize their fucking gun and the threat on their lives. Get out! Get out! What do you think they would have fucking done? They would have gotten physical with me and they would have pulled their fucking guns that give them the, the power and the authority to shit on us. And we're how many? Down to three now? The ongoing targeting of the Troni family? Sierra did it to herself. No! Sierra did it to herself, Mom! Christy Miller yeah. started no, the process. Mom. I agree with Mom. Whatever. Sierra chose to do drugs. Christy Miller! When did Sierra start doing drugs? 13. No. Do you do you think a thirteen year old should be responsible for their actions? You know what? Do you do you believe that thirteen year olds should be? I remember what I did be, at thirteen. Do you think thirteen year olds should be tried as adults? No, but you know right from wrong. People who are thirteen know right, right from wrong. Right. Yeah. And thirteen. And she was can, clean can for twenty eight right? months. 13. Plus six months being pregnant. Thirteen. And what did a social right? worker, a public they union can. sector okay. do? So Kicked once her out you into make the a mistake streets. like that. The physical turned her into a like, junkie. Oh, so these people have a fucking job. That Sierra. I, I, I think a lot about why Sierra constantly ran away from home, right? Because mom brought her back, we brought her back, and Sierra would run away. I, I'm just, I'm like, something was wrong that Sierra just ran away, right? I don't know why, right? Sierra chose, she made mistakes, but like, at a certain point, the mistake became a necessity, and it took Andre for her to break that. And it took Christine Miller to break Sierra and have this happen. How many years later? Five? You get kicked out in the streets and walk around out there with if no place I to fucking go. If I got kicked out on the streets, I'll find a way You're to get not, it. No, we can't even start talking like that because like, you, you didn't grow up at the same age with the same shit that Sierra grew up with the same neurochemistry that Sierra had, making the same mistakes, you it's not that simple. It's not that simple. Because everyone is fucking different. Everybody is, yes. Okay. I'm proud of you guys. Stand your ground. No, I'm serious. I think it's only you and Mark are standing your ground. No, right you're, you're right here too, because you can walk away anytime and you're not. If they just shut up, and didn't try to lie right to our face, we wouldn't have said any of that. But instead, they open their mouths and they take offense that we look at their organized gang as some sort of cohesive block. Oh, I wonder why, when the corruption that festers in there is not fixed by those who participate in that system, it's fucked. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys do this, you guys do that. Oh, don't paint us with the same brush. Well, how about you clean up your fucking force and then we won't paint you with the same brush. Don't lie to our face. Don't patronize us. Yeah. Listen to what we have to say instead of talking over us and calling us liars. Yeah, because it's just going to be a rubber stamp. Oh, a suicide. She was depressed. 
She just got a new place, and, but it doesn't matter because she was depressed. Oh, sorry, it was an accident. Move along. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't you say that's an accident? Sierra fucking... <laughs> go the back up. What a waste of fucking time okay, and resources. Okay, stay quiet. I don't want you going to jail. For what? <laughs> For being disorderly conduct, disorderly you can't conduct. swear. Oh, I, I'll stop swearing. I'll lower my voice and I'll stop swearing. So the big bad police officers don't get me on disorderly conduct. You wouldn't want to have to be thrown in the cell because of He's disorderly a public servant. conduct. So what? It's, nobody wants to be videotaped. It doesn't matter. They're public servants, and this is well. I guess it's public property. John could tell Mum to go to the street and stop videotaping. And I may, maybe inside they could mm -hmm. tell us. We're just hanging out. Just hanging out? Mm-hmm. What's up? I don't even think disorderly conduct is a charge. No? I watch a lot of American... Oh, they You're locked us big. out. You're big. They locked us yeah. out. Like, you, how tall are you, man? You aren't even in America, man. It's completely different. I said I watch a lot of American... Hey, these guys like fucking so huge. We're a lot better than American people. Uh, yeah, but we have speech laws, so I don't know about that. Hey, okay. six feet social distance. What's the matter with you? You're breaking the law. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Why aren't you wearing out. a mask? It was open until they forced us out. Under yeah, threat because of they didn't violence. want to hear the truth. That was the problem. What's the truth? My daughter was murdered and your kind covered it up. Not this daughter, somebody else. Yeah, Shemay Chorney, look it up. Sierra? Yeah. Shemay. Sierra's dead now. Is this Second daughter, dead. Second daughter, dead. First daughter, You're covered Sierra? up. Covered up. Yeah, because you guys illegally took her organs. By you guys, we're talking about the organization of the police officer, not necessarily you. You, but in terms of criminal organization within your ranks. And I could prove it. Sierra's mom, Sierra's brother? Yeah, yes. Sierra's sister. I'm very sorry for your loss, guys. Mm. I really, truly am. Um, oh, I know some of you guys were concerned about Sierra, and you're just as helpless as the rest of us. And because of what happened to Shimei, I'm filing a lawsuit, and guess what's at the end of the page? Sierra. So you might end up getting some resources yet. You never know. <laughs> Can I get a smoke, please? Well. Back up. Huh? Back up. Huh? Back oh, up. Oh, you just rolled up. What? Oh, I'm just back up there. Why? Because there's know. two women. They have guns. <laughs> Is there... Are you back up? Yeah, he's back up. Is that he what you are? He just From that. us? Oh, that's right? pathetic. <laughs> Fentanyl on the street. So we got three officers here. And they told us that... Is that your recorder or is that theirs? It's mine. Oh, um, they that's mine. They the exact same ones. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it must be good. I do YouTube. <laughs> oh. oh. I have an American following. Can I get a lighter? Oh, nice. Yeah, that wants to see justice for Shemaine. It won't happen. No, it will happen. We'll see. It will happen. You have a lawsuit ongoing right now? No, I'm going to be filing it in a week and a half before uh, April 19th on the fourth day that she died at the Surrey Memorial Hospital. <laughs> may, may I ask, um, when did she may pass away? April 11th, she was murdered in a house by her disgruntled ex. Oh, 2018. And then the coroner came in. Well, the coroner didn't come in because the cops and the paramedics covered it up and took her body to the hospital. And within seven hours, it it's was It's crazy how bombed. Sierra gets a coroner. And yeah, not Shemay. and not Shemay. But I knew the coroner would so show up. Didn't get a coroner? No, of course not, because they <laughs> revived her, apparently. But I can prove that she was illegally embalmed. Just everything at the hospital. Ooh, that didn't sound good. So it's going to be a this lawsuit. Is a different lighter this is body removal, guys, just so you're aware. This is what? I body thought we got to what is it? before that happened. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're just here. Okay. Because they're the ones who are going to transport to can I get the lighter uh, mom? Glen Haven or something like that. Uh, right. The body will be stored, so. Um, Don't cool. smoke those. Those things stink. We might need to get you guys just to move so they yeah. when, when they when they need to. Yeah. And uh, maneuver stuff. So. Yeah. They even locked out the cops. They locked out us. British Columbia, Canada. Yeah. Hoarding bodies. Okay. Are you gonna post that? Yes, I am.
You don't get change by kick me in my ass. We're not doing anything wrong. Did you take a smoke for me? Yeah. Well, can I get one, please? Where are they? Are you going home to go see Paige, or what are you doing? Don't be long. Fucking corners in there, wasting time. I'm done and fucking. I wonder if they're going to ask me to donate her organs. That's the big question. Do you want to donate her organs? <laughs> like we can, Mom. Mm hmm. Maybe. If they wouldn't take Shemaze. Probably they not. Take no, they took Shemaze. Okay, but I'm saying if they're saying they couldn't take hers. No, they took Shemaze. I understand that. <coughs> well, she's technically she she's a junkie, so technically they're not supposed to. The law is called causing disturbance, and it's basically disorderly conduct. Uh, if I were to do it, causing disturbance is a very very, very weak one. Usually it would be a mischief. <laughs> sure. So it would there you go. Obstructing people, obstructing lawful enjoyment of property, people's personal enjoyment of property. We're going to get you guys to pull out because um, only if you want to talk to you guys. Resources. Okay. At work. Thank you, buddy. You guys come on to the staff. Okay. No worries. Four of them. Yeah. <sighs> <coughs> Turn back, back up. Sorry? Back up? Question mark? What? Are you a backup? Am I backup? Yeah. To what? This. Uh, I'm just here to help. Mm. Okay. How many times did you come into contact with Sierra? Actually, you know what? I don't know who the person Oh, you is. don't know Sierra. Oh, is that fellow over there who knows Sierra? Um, sorry. Seriously, I don't. He knows Sierra. Quite a few cops know Sierra. Well, I've been in Surrey 12 years, so... No, and you well, don't know Sierra. <laughs> maybe he's on day shift or something. Yeah, maybe. No, no? that sucks. <coughs> Prior to joining the RCMP, uh, my family owned a funeral home and stuff, so usually when people unfortunately go through a tragic like this, you know, you should yeah. have a different perspective and try to help, you know, the family and stuff, so it's one of the reasons why. Ah. Uh. Well. I don't want to pick on you, they so I'm going to stay quiet. They a different uniform for that. See, I'm blue. Not gray, right? <laughs> Why, is somebody running around gray with something gray on? So how often do you do this service? Quite a bit, unfortunately. Yeah? Yeah. Every day? Yeah? Political genocide in Canada, that's what it is, sir. That must be hard. Just being a... Uh, Yeah, you're in a war. You know that. Yep. So you guys are family then? Pardon me? Are you guys family? Brother. Brother. Mother. Sister. Sister. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I know it's like, personally, you know, like I lost both my parents when I was young, you know, like my mom and dad, and it, it sucks, right? Like it just totally sucks. Mm -hmm. so, and being a parent myself now, like I can't imagine Go talk to Constable Booth and ask about Shemay Chorney. Shemay, Sierra's not the first person to die. You can't imagine what, sorry? Like, to be a parent and to lose a child, right? Like, that's just horrific. Second time. Well, it depends on how you lose them, really. Yeah. Sierra, I'm prepared for. Yeah? Shemay was really. straight up murder, and your police force covered it up. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, and so did the coroner's office. Yeah, uh, so Unfortunately. And I'm not afraid to say it. And because of that, when my grandson says, oh, oh, look, there's the police. We need to get them some horses. I'm like, no, not anymore. Not until you guys clean up your own fucking police force, man. 
you got like a criminal element in there that like needs to be uh what drain the swamp isn't that how trump says Who? trump Ew. drain the swamp no he's got some good he's got a good message drain drain the fucking swamp like this is this is a joke what's going on here it is, is, it is. is a total fucking joke cool that driveway needs to be fixed it's a bit of a yeah. You didn't do this for an honor student that had an IQ of genius. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Other than they wanted her organs and they took them illegally and they embalmed her in the hospital illegally. That's what they did. But not with Sierra because Sierra was a junkie. But we're just going to put on the fucking show. This is a show, people. This is the Canadian show. We are the show. Yeah. Well, at least you knew Sierra. I did. So I'm sure Hello. you. When, I'm sure, when did so, you meet her? And you had to deal with her. Okay, let me look Had a, a lot of encounters with her. Exactly. Uh, how long ago? When was your first. Like, I'm not. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, don't worry about it. But just like. Probably say two years ago. I came to Wally two years ago. First one was probably about a year and a half. From ago. where? Where'd you come from? Uh, Newton. Okay. That's not so, a, a nice place either. No. It was actually. Um, my first encounter was right around the corner. What was she doing? She was stealing people's mail. Okay. Yeah. I reported that. I came to your office. I charged her. Yeah. <laughs> handing over the mail. And then she's <laughs> in her bag is a bunch of plants from someone's house. Yeah. She's Any rocks you ever find yep. with pebbles? She, she likes collecting rocks. I, I was yep. Tim Hortons. I got a King yard Hortons. full of rocks yep. from Sierra, we bringing them to the house. Like bags full of rocks. Yeah. British Columbia, Canada healthcare system full of rocks. It's just, yeah, the hospital never helped her with, like, her mm -hmm. prolapse anus and, like, her mental health and all that, you know what I mean? I, I brought it to the hospital several times when I went to health act. Yeah, but they didn't commit her. Never. No, I know. So. That's the problem. I know. But it doesn't remove the fact that you've got a criminal element within your ranks and you need to clean the swamp. Uh, well, no, one way is going to be, be fucking dealt with. I can't speak to that. Well, of course not, because you're not involved with that. How long How long have you... You're 12 years? Well, I don't know if you're involved with that, but I hope you're not. I don't broad sweep every cop to be a dirty cop, but there are a lot of dirty cops out there, unfortunately, because they're making money off of selling organs. And Shimei Chorney is an example of that. Did Shimei marry Shimei died in my basement. Yeah. With me trying to give her a recitation. Shimei was Sierra's sister. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know. We don't live here. Who was not oh, a junkie. Yeah. Just Sierra was here? She Sierra just got the place like two days ago. Got so Left out of jail three days ago. So nobody should be surprised. That's why none of us are crying and we're all mad. I already cried. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Same. I'm just going to get madder and louder. That's all. And it's going to make my fucking fight easier. So, I hope you, for your sake, you guys are good cops. Because if you are, you'll be fine. If yeah. you're dirty cops, you're going down. Well, Somebody I'm in your sure force is I'm dirty. I'm not sure if you know this. What? But, um, in grief, it's called the eight stages of grief. Okay. You know, the first one is shock. Mm -hmm. Then there's denial. Then there's anger. Okay. The final step is acceptance. So, where am I? Um, Sierra's died a thousand you're times. You're still in anger with yeah. Shemaine. Sierra Mark. has died a thousand times. Mm -hmm. Have this man will it? tell you. Have you ever dealt with it? What? Like, talk to somebody about it? Like a grief counselor? About what? No, she won't. No. Don't. About what? <laughs> about your other daughter dying? My grief will be in the Supreme Court of Canada making sure that yeah. a judge looks at it. That And, and the and Attorney General, the... and the Solicitor Attorney General, and the Minister of fucking the federal government when it comes to justice. That will be my dealing with my grief. That is the only way. And That's everyone, everyone deals with it different, right? Well, no, then it comes change. You guys will get more resources. And you might get some horses out of the deal. That's what will happen. Don't you want horses? Real horses? Don't you miss them? They have horses, Mom. No, they don't. All the horses are in Ottawa or Toronto or wherever. No, they don't. Only in Victoria. No, Ottawa. No, we do. In Victoria. Musical ride. Yeah, in Ottawa. Yeah, in Ottawa. Well, it depends on the week. They go around. Yeah, but not your own. Yeah. I wish I had that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're on the same page. It would be a lot slower response, but it would be way more fun. Well, yeah. no. That's not my idea. My idea is 
honestly was to fundraise so that you guys could have some land someplace and take your families and get out of the fucking city for a few weeks and just go be people. I like you. I, like you. I know that. It's a good idea. It is a good idea, but it's hard to uh, rally the community for anything outside of building monster homes these well, days. Well, especially in Surrey when the mayor doesn't like us. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well. Number one opposition is our mayor. You know what? Illegal organ harvesting is happening whether they're RCMP or local police. It doesn't matter because the system is in place. That's the problem. So. Might be more <laughs> Back up. It is. <sighs> it's our helicopter. So anyway. It's always this many police? No. Yeah? Maybe. It varies. It depends on... How loud you get? <laughs> no, it doesn't have to do with how loud you get. It's circumstances that surround it, right? If it's suspicious, then more police will show up. Um, like our plainclothes unit might come because they might deem it to be suspicious, right? So. No. This guy was actually trying to help her. And this could have happened. This has happened a thousand times with Sierra. He gave her a home. Because she can't be at our house because we have babies. First right? time and, he, and it ends and out like this. I know. Um, we have Sierra's son, Andre, and then my sister who passed away, her son, Amari, and then my daughter, Alea May. How old? So you have three kids? Uh, nine, two. I have two grandchildren, orphans. Um, Sierra's Mine's 18 months. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I have two orphans. Pretty much. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're you know Julian much. Johnson? You heard about that one I hit downtown in Burnaby? That was Amari's dad. And He's the one who Pepper killed Shemaine. Then, like, I think you guys <laughs> found a burned out car yeah. a few hours after that. He was the dude, really he was the dude yeah. who killed Shemaine. And then Constable Booth and the rest of his fucking buddies covered it up right along with the coroner. Because Shemay's organs were illegally harvested, and I can prove that. This is why the stages of grief will never be completed until that is done. Yeah. Yeah, and then after that's done, I'll make a big donation, and you guys will get your horses. And the good guys will be able to take their families there and be normal human fucking I beings. I choose who is good and who is bad. People have a fake smile on their face every day. What? I said, who's gonna choose who's good and who's bad? How would you it's for that? them to clean up their fucking swamp. It's not my swamp, it's their swamp. They have to clean it up themselves. They gotta want better for themselves. If they want the respect from the community, they have to show us that we can respect them. And unfortunately, this is not it. The. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate your effort, but you had your chance with Shemaine, you didn't follow through on it. Not you guys. Not you guys, but... As an organization. Yeah, but, you know, take this... Collectively, I get it. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, fucking do something about it because there's some serious shit going on. you got all these immigrants coming in here with big money and they're fucking harvesting us, harving, harvesting us like cattle with the fucking union, public union sector within their little sleeper cells. Do you know how long the pointer takes? It depends. Again, it depends on circumstances like every single time it's different it could take she could take hours Sierra's right? just a distraction from what's really going on in terms of illegal organ harvesting take hours, right? so sometimes she and show up the removal of the Canadian born people to bring in an immigrant fucking population that has more money while well, these guys play I don't know what to that political fucking agenda because they're just trying to feed their own families. And also depends on corn and corn. So, some, some are a lot faster. Some so in some ways you guys are kind of like victims too. You didn't sign up 20 years ago to listen to someone like me talk about this kind of corruption because 20 years ago nobody thought, would have thought that it would have existed, but it does. No. Corruption <clears throat> like this has existed forever. Not ho organ harvesting. Yeah. Not organ 20 years ago. Fucking, yeah, it was just coming in. Well, organ harvesting has been going on for... Well, the Chinese have been doing it for... Yeah, for okay, I know. 17th century, fucking, we had the, the body no, snatchers real, and grave robbers. Real recent. Huh? This is like modern day China. Yeah. They do it with the Falun, Falun Gong practitioners and their Muslim... Yeah, well, they're doing it out here now. 
but only fentanyl is the perfect murder weapon because everybody likes to say suicide accident suicide accident suicide accident and don't tell me that's not true because it is not one person has gone to jail in BC for murdering somebody with fentanyl even when it's up in your face actually my buddy did charge someone a drug dealer oh for Well, I don't even know what he used. What he what the charge was, I forget. But it was like an accessory kind of thing? He so he sold her drugs that was laced with fentanyl. Okay. And he knowingly they did it and she didn't know that it was. So You're not talking about Adrian Falcon or Falcon, are you? I have no idea who was in it. Yeah, she was fifteen. That was a few years back. I do not know who the Because that, that story sounds kinda of familiar, but the thing is Julian Hot capped her. He came up and fucking gave it to her on purpose when she didn't realize what she was... She's talking about my sister now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and because... She yeah. You know what hot cop is on the mm. streets. That's nothing new. It's happening all the time out there. Well, that's what happened to Shimei, and then the guy showed up the next day thinking he could run off with the baby and go on welfare. Mm. That's exactly what happened. And then because she was young, healthy, and not a drug addict, she was a prime candidate for organ harvesting, and that's exactly what happened. And then they illegally embalmed her body, and I can prove it. And they let her fucking rot for nine days on the machine. Yeah. In the hospital? Yes. Life support? Like yeah, she wasn't on life support. She yeah, wasn't on she her. She was, Mom. She was made to look like on life support. You can't take and she a. She started oozing from her eyes. Because she was. She was fucking like dying. Because she was dead. Her body was. Dead. Dying. No, it, it was, was dead. Was not dead. They took it out her organs. Dying. She has no teeth. I've looked at the pictures. She has no teeth. They took out her teeth. You'd have to show me the pictures. I will show you. You said Sierra got released from jail three days ago? Yeah. How long was she in for? 25 days? Yeah, and the judge kept her in. January 31st? No, she Stop. went in again. No. She came out and then went in again. Yeah. No, I think from January 21st. Yeah, that was the vote because they kept her in a, for a little longer. On the 31st. That makes sense. Last time she went in, no. I went to I went to court on March twelfth. Yeah, she got out like. Yeah. Went to court on March twelfth, and they gave her twenty four days, but they released her in twelve. So cognizant compared to how she usually is. Was she clean? No, she was better. Like well, of course she was cleaning the jail, but who knows? You probably get drugs in jail. She no, she wasn't giving doing no not doing no in jail. She, was she wasn't like doing no drugs in jail. Shit. No sets of box and maybe. But even then you they can't don't fucking cold turkey. That's what, no, that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what you guys do, isn't it? Do you, do you know cold turkey? Them? That's correction. That's correction. Yeah. I have no idea. I can't The right the hand does not speak to the left hand. Yeah, as I got the city of Surrey riding my ass because they got an anonymous phone call and sent their robocops to my house and said, Get out there and work, bitch! You got 30 fucking days or we're coming in and finding your landlord $15,000. Or better yet, we're just going to come in with our big ass truck and fucking just, you know, put you into some communist camp and then hold you at bay as we come in and clean out your fucking yard because we like to gang stalk you. Is that bylaws? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they came on uh, March 19th because uh, I'm being gang stalked because I'm outspoken about my daughter being murdered. And the people who are involved with her being murdered in terms of the sister to the brother who murdered my daughter doesn't like the fact that I'm standing my ground like if I'm a Texan. If I had a gun, I'd have one. Honest God, I would. But I live in Canada. I'm not allowed. <laughs> you can have one, you just need a... Oh, yeah, I know, but it's not a priority. <laughs> one day, only because I might have to defend my house when doomsday really hits and these uh, crazy drug addicts are running around the streets trying to bust into houses to steal food. Yeah, you guys are in the right position during this crisis. Yeah, you can defend your families and hold off the horde before they try and raid your food pantry. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
So can you see me out there working in the rain now, burying Sierra? Just to appease Robocops? Yes. <laughs> Oh, what else are you going to do? Oh, I know. I might get homeless. Ow. I'll lose my house and be forced into a housing market that there's no affordable housing because it's political genocide in Canada. I hope you guys are listening to this. It is very unaffordable here. Yeah. You got yourself? You got an ETA? Uh, no, 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 can we like can we get a, a time? I'll show it the corner. Please and thank you. <clears throat> Just uh that you can see her or Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. We want to be a witness before no, she's I don't gone. I not to be here anymore. The thing is, is now with like, the way things are, like people aren't buying and selling houses and stuff, and like even people that you know say you're selling your house, you can't even go to the lawyer or notary to get all the documents signed off mm -hmm. because everything's shut down. Everything's like. Where is she in jail? Huh? Where is she in jail? Oh. Um, a woman's one in Ma in Maple Ridge somewhere. In Ridge, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you were saying people can't sell their houses right now in this? Well, no. So say if you sold your house, right? Uh huh. In this condition right now, usually you go to a notary. With the coronavirus, or lawyer, the you're coronavirus, talking about, okay? And then you can't sign the, the legal documents mm -hmm. to transfer, right? And then you can't get movers because it's like, you know, I'm moving into your house, you're moving out of your house. But because of the virus and stuff, no movers want to help people move. And right? you, and you like honestly think that we're battling a virus, or maybe it's uh, the, the military-industrial complex we are with rogue governments battling trying, a virus. trying to take over, like uh, pacify the public and bring well, in, you know, it's, it's martial law. And, and huh? personally, personally, like I know it's a virus, and I think personally we should have shut this down like a month ago. No. You think we're really facing a crisis with the virus? It's of happened course, before, Mom. mom. Yeah, it's happened times before. It's like, well, so many times, Mom. Ebola. Um, Spanish flu. Spanish flu. Well, the way people are acting, I'm thinking it's the Black Plague. Well, it, you know, the thing is, is that we've never had it this bad before. You know what I mean? Like, society but it's not that bad yet. Have, you as a generation, sick. As a generation I agree with you. Yeah. Mom, people are dying oh, every day of it. People are sick getting respiratory. 50,000 people died last year from the flu that, in the United this, States. They've a only flu? had 1,000 people so far die. And we're working very hard as a war, as a planet, which is insane, to, to keep that limited. Yeah, well, you see, that's my mistrust for the anything government these yeah, days. I mistrust it too. I mistrust it too, but there is something going on and people are dying. Well, what about the 50,000 that died last year from the uh, from the flu? Okay, but that's different, Mom. It's How is it different? Because that's a flu. People, it's like older people dying. People it's very well, much that's the what same older, thing. That's, that's what's happening now. I guess so. It's not different. The only but difference is, is the cops are involved getting now. getting it from China, from United States, from here, everywhere. It's getting, it's traveling from place to place to place. Mom, if you're not going to take it serious, you're going to be the next one dead. Mass that's, that's hysteria. Yeah. We should be we should be thankful that it's not worse. Okay, people, I'll calm down on it. Thank then. you. If people, if if the majority of us, whereas we're like truly panicking, things would be so much worse. Yeah, and you'll be in your. I don't know. When Uncle John, everything, when like, Uncle John went missing in 2015. That Surrey flu killed 40 homeless people out in the streets, and nobody, and that's what I'm aware of, and nobody did jack shit. It went through the whole house, Tisha. Everybody got sick. Uncle John got sick. Got that was that. just a common flu one. Not when it was killing homeless people out on the streets, people, Tisha. Homeless people have bad immune systems, Mom. Uncle John was how old was he? Like 70, 70 And the majority of people that are dying are Uncle the ones John had with... Pneumonia. If, that's what made him feel all what? sick and all that. From the flu. From the he, flu, yeah. It turned he got it from the flu. Yeah. I know that. But what I'm saying is the people that are dying in British Columbia are namely from elder, elderly old folks. There homes. are young people Because they're dying. old. Yeah, 19-year-old. A 19-year-old. Well, they have better immune systems. Oh. Hey, so, yes. um, our general investigations unit, so our place closed, unit, because there's some concerns that um, 
they want to look into and just investigate a little further. What? So it's going to be probably a, a few hours. A few hours. Oh yeah, anything just to stall so, for time. What are you guys looking into? Yeah, what yeah. are you looking into? I, I can't tell you because it's an ongoing investigation. Oh my god. Yeah. No, that's just not so right. So we're suspects. No, no. <laughs> so, but no. you can't tell us. And, and I'm and the mother. I'm the mother. I should be able to see my daughter before I walk away. For sure. All right, then. And you can. I'm just telling you, you asked how long. Uh -huh. I'm telling you it's going to be a few hours. You want me to wait three hours out in the rain so to see my daughter? I want to see my daughter so, before I leave. 100%. What I'm going to suggest next yes. is that if you guys want to head home, we can call you before anything else gets done mm. so you guys can come back and can see your daughter before uh, she leaves. Why can't we just step where you step and don't touch anything and look at her? Because I have oh, no idea. Police investigation. So, but you, okay, so number, quarantine please? crime crime scene. Okay, well let's just go. Pardon? It's a quarantined um, crime scene. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a crime scene. Okay. okay. It's a crime you, scene? Mom. At this point, mom. I don't know what happened in the past. It's quarantine. Why? Well, we're not letting anyone in. Sure in well, why? Preservation of evidence. Preservation of evidence. So you guys can be in there. Correct. Correct. We can speak to so what we're doing. And right. We can't speak to what you're doing. We can't let anyone that's not police or an investigative agency in there. Because you're afraid that we will. We're not afraid of you guys. In any no, I'm sorry. You're, you are concerned that we will. Take the evidence? I don't know. This is what they should have done with Shemay. You guys should have done this with Shemay. Like, would we're you waiting allow for our actual mom just to see her? No, no it's, don't worry about it. We Keisha. have to wait for our investigative agency, investigative units to come. Constable Booth. Oh my <laughs> god, I can't believe this. <laughs> so, He's a conflict of yeah. interest. I'm just letting you guys know it's going to be a few hours. That's fine. Whether you want to wait here or you go home and we'll call you back. Because it's going to be a few hours outside right now, so if you want to go, we can call you. Let's not argue, okay? This is through, just, okay? I don't know what I just this don't is. get because the, the delineation. No, I'm not going to freak out. And we'll call you. In how you guys can do X, but we can't do X, even if you were no, watching no, us to services. make sure that we did X. I have no idea why. Like like my partner said, is that we, like if anybody that walks in here, okay, we have to write down time for whole bit as to who comes in. We were already in there, but we, yeah. and whatever. I, I don't know. Maybe it's I, I don't know. I, 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 respect I, don't I know. saw her fucking hand. Yeah. Yeah. You can't show me the rest of her goddamn yeah. body. Okay. Until like, my partner, like my partner said, my until we okay. finish the investigation. Okay. That it makes no sense. It makes zero sense. Because they have to cover up what they made the mistakes for with the shaman. Things like I said, she is. So, oh, like, as I if we don't know, but that's probably why okay. they're investigating. As if on the we ground. don't know, like, we don't know what it. she looks like. We don't know what she okay, looks like. Guys, Mom. Okay. we're just letting you know. All right, let's go. That there's evidence that we want to investigate yeah, a little further. Right. And of course, I'll get a copy of all this, right? Yeah, yeah I'm like, not going to get just some some general, you know, corner, Jimmy, you know, mixed so match, bullshit crap, right? I'm going to get the full okay. details, or do so I have to go through Freedom of Information? You're going to have to go through Freedom of Information. Exactly, of course. Of course. Like, like things yeah, haven't yeah. already been redacted in terms of Shimei and Tisha, Freedom of Information. Can I get a file yeah, number before right. I leave, please? Yeah, do a file number? I'll give you my card. She's so. going to call when it's time. And I'll call you. So you guys aren't waiting out in the rain here? No, we're going to leave. Yeah, and I said, yes, you she, 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 she will call, call me, her Mom. Yeah, when it's well, time. no, this is just, I'm going to button fine. my lip. It's, a, it's like a <laughs> second. When it's just right. call it's a two classes okay, of citizen. Just, you don't have to go out of your way. And, and it's just ridiculous. Call, and my mom, we're literally like three minutes away. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really, and, and again, guys, I really, truly am sorry. This is awful for you, and the delaying process, process makes it even worse. I get that. And I know that we're not always. In our, in our investigations, not see through for you guys, but there's ways that we do it and there's processes in the way that we need to follow. Rhetoric. Went no. through it with Shemae. Right. Whatever. If you don't it's, want to believe that, that is up to you, but yeah. I'm just letting you it's, know yeah. that this is what is happening. Yeah. And I'm really sorry. You didn't do it for Shemae. Okay. Mom. Okay. okay. Not you, but you need to clean the swamp. <laughs> You're speaking of our organization, I know. You need to clean oh the swamp. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Five. <laughs>